And what's yeah. to hear about this city of Bano? The buried city of Bano. Yeah. It's out there somewhere. <laughs> and the same when the tide goes out, you see the smoke coming up out of the chimneys. <laughs> yeah. is called Bano Island. Yeah. But it's we not an island. Well it was originally and the sand and silt eventually just joined it back to the mainland over the years. Within reason it's 95% surrounded by seawater. That would be pretty unusual now for a farm growing barley. Well I think it would actually yeah. When I was up with Neil the head brewer up in the distillery he swears anyway he can get a saltiness taste off the whiskey that's produced from this land and as you see yourself it's always pretty windy down here and the salt blown off onto the land bookhead all is all out that way and it's all coming across this way every one of the trees is all <laughs> bent over this way so yeah fox ran across there i heard you say yeah did you see the fox no yeah <laughs> ran out of crosses I grew up down, you know, at the, on the home place and uh, with three sisters. My grandfather was here, the Harpers were here about 100 years, so. But there it is now, lovely day. I'd say we probably have missed all the rain. The rain seems to stay on the left-hand side of the channel a lot in this time of the year. But in saying that, for the last two weeks, we've got not any rain. Do the kids have interest in farming? Well, I'd say Bobby does, but he's a bit small, but he always goes on about tractors and stuff. Aaron never stops talking about it. But Tommy, the eldest lad, he's more into dinosaurs. <laughs> so there's a good chance there's a successor there. Ah. <laughs> so is, yeah. Something's gone wrong. I have no trailer and I was trying to put too much in the tank. The tank was up to the... Ah, when the key was probably getting dodgy anyway, but when, when the pressure came on to bring the corn across in the tank. How old is this combine? What's the history of this? <laughs> Two walls. <laughs> Two walls for this crack. Who's coming? The father. Do you have anything to say about this? I say keep going. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Like, I mean, even when this barley leaves here, it goes up to Dalton. My 110 or 20 tonne is it's separate. It's not mixed with anyone else's. That's the first time anything like this was ever done. How did you know that the barley was ripe? Well, like every farmer, you probably just go walk through it and fight it with your teeth, and you'd have a fair idea. You'd be only a couple of percent out. After that, we'd try and go and get it tested for moisture. Because it is dry here, like it's real sandy soil, so the whole dry summer, the corn here last year was only about that high, and it was only yielding about 1.5 tonne. And just going by that last field, it done around four tonne. Uh, to stay at this, you really need, you do need to be getting the best yields and like it's great looking out at the scenery and all that, but you know. <laughs> so my biting barley, do you like whiskey? I actually do now, yeah. <laughs> I do, I do. When I was younger, uh, uh, I might have drank too much of it one night and <laughs> same as was all and I didn't drink it for a couple of years but in the last five, six, more, ten years, yeah, I would like it now, yeah. Last summer we were up there and I tasted a three-year-old one and I thought it was, it was nice now, <laughs> yeah. Would there be a certain level of pride tasting your own whiskey? I suppose there would, yeah, sure. My wife was with me and my mother and, and my sister and they really enjoyed it as well. Yeah, no, it was a good day. Go on out. Are, we, are you be uh, Ed's mammy now? Yes. Yes. I didn't intend to be here now, right? It's too late now. Too late. You're on it now. Oh my god. <laughs>
asking you, did you want a cup of tea? Is that like <laughs> Did you go up here as well? Or? In the area? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's about a couple of miles up the road. I would have always known her, but I think it more or less happened in Australia as well, even though she only lived up the road from me. Would you be into whiskey? No, not really. Not really, no. Gee. But I might, I might <laughs> get into it. Try and get it all finished, you know, before Catherine gets masked. <laughs> or fed up. <laughs> I wouldn't say any of them are going to be able to cut now because they got them showers. We're just lucky. But I think our luck is run now. <laughs> like, if you got one shower for five minutes, it probably stop you. There's a happy farmer. My wife will be happy. I'll be home early. <laughs> 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 I thought he would have stopped, but he said he got very little rain, and it's not raining right around him, but he's able to cut away, so... I mean, it was raining on us, just... Yeah, and we and he didn't get it. Yeah, that's just lucky, that's for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah.